Boom, coming in hot, Chinchy, on a Friday, brother. We've had a lot of action this week. How you doing, cuz? A lot of action this week. I moved my dad out of the house. He's uh, been in for 44 years yesterday. Dude, how, dude, how was that, man? Because I, 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 that must have been tough. Yeah, absolutely. Like, now, like, I, 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 had, I felt better. I thought I'd be a lot more, like, more of, like, a basket case kind of thing. But, you know, I'm like... You know, we, we we were busy. We had a lot to do. We had to move him out. He's got a really nice condo now. Nice neighborhood. His condo he moved into, he's got like a communal pool and he's already met like a bunch of people. So it's almost like he's like made friends. It's like, remember when you were like 25 years old and you got like a, a condo and you like start yeah, meeting yeah, everybody like, in the neighborhood? Your, yeah, your dad's like your dad's like Melrose Place 2023. Yeah, so yeah, like guys yeah. in their 70. He's like, yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> Everybody walking around, they're all around the same age. It's pretty funny. That's cool, man. That's, yeah, that's anyway. Cool. Good, good for him. How, how does he feel? Is he, you know, is it, you know, he was ready. He was definitely ready. ready to go. Yeah. I mean, you know, by himself, it's too, too much. You know how people say like, it's too much house. Now I know what that too means. Much house. When yeah. people say like, this is just too much house. Like he can, he didn't even go in all the rooms by the end. So it's like, it was a good timing. It was perfect. So yeah. We're happy he's all settled in. Big Al, Big Al's partying now. And <laughs> Big Al's partying. I remember, dude. I remember when I first got to the big leagues. Dante Bichette uh, was from Jupiter, right? Growing up, when no one was from Jupiter, Florida. I mean, it was like literally, it was dirt roads when Dante grew up. You know what I mean? That's maybe that's why he made the big leagues such a grinder. He's like, we gotta go down dirt roads to get to the <laughs> field. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I remember him telling me, like, my, one of my my, and I played with my third year in the big leagues. He was like, I initially bought this humongous house on Jupiter Island, which is one of the richest areas, you know, and he's like, it was so big. He's like, I, I ended up selling it to get a smaller house. Cause like, you know, it, when, whenever it, a house is too big and no one's in it, it feels it's, too, it's, it's not, now you want a home. It doesn't feel like you a home. A, you want to, it doesn't feel like a home. So he's like, you know, you, you got, I, I moved to a smaller house so we could feel like it was a home. So wait, I can wait. see how be, your dad yeah. being in that big old house by himself was probably like, all right. Yeah, it was almost like it was almost like so big that the walls were caving in on him. Hey, real quick, yeah. didn't didn't Barry Larkin buy like a fucking hundred thousand square foot house once? I remember when he Lark, got Lark's got one of the biggest houses. So does Griff. Junior's <laughs> okay. got a huge house. I remember Junior be like his son Trey. I remember like he'd be like, "All, all right, up uh, dinner time. You have to get on the intercom." We're like, oh. all right, I don't know where the hell you are in the house in the compound, but it's dinner time, kids. I don't know if you're in the freaking movie room, if you're in the basketball court, but it's time to eat dinner. I, I remember uh, Harold Reynolds when we were at ESPN. He had been renting. Remember Fred Hickman, great uh, on-air guy. He was yeah. renting his condo because Fred moved back to ESPN. And uh, I went over there. Shut up, Bella. I went over there one day, and it had an elevator. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen because it's three stories, and he had in the elevator in his house. I was always like. Oh man, I would love to have an elevator in my house one day. <laughs> That's cool, dude. That's cool. Well, I do. As we get older, we're gonna want elevators. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we get that little thing where you ride up the the stairs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, dude, I dude, I used to, I used to. My, my, my dad has that now. My dad oh, has. That's three. right. Oh, dude, he has. He gets in it. Boom! He hits this thing. It's like he's driving a stick. The thing goes like one mile an hour, though, dude. My my dad, my dad's always like hundred miles an hour. Everything you do. <laughs> Like we'd be on our way to church, my mom would be like, "Jesus Christ, Jamie, you're gonna kill us on the way to church <laughs> every Sunday." My mom and my dad would be like, "There she goes, praying for me again." You know what I mean? I'm like, "We're like, they're like, watch out for Mr. Casey." <laughs> now, now he's had these um, two open heart surgeries. He likes to get in these things, chicks. They go like, they're so slow, they're like, <laughs> and it's so weird to see my dad, who's been 100 miles an hour his whole life, just tickling up these stairs. Then he gets <laughs> yeah. up, gets the other one, and gets up. It's incredible. But the one thing I love about that house, bro. We grew up in a town, you know, a nice town. And like I said, we always we always felt like we were on the other side of the tracks. And but now with a smaller house, you know, what I mean, that house now is so perfect mm -hmm. for my parents because it's not that big and they can still be there. And and uh, I know you guys are listening, mom and dad. So I'll see you guys later today. I'll bring over some food for you. So. <laughs> there you go. Oh my. <laughs> Hi, folks. Um, all right. A couple things we were looking at. First, let's start with what you just sent me, because I had not seen this. This dude, college dude. player. Yeah. Go ahead, explain him. This is yeah, a crazy tell me. Video. What's his name, dude? He's a freshman. He's a freshman at Mississippi uh, State. It looks like, I don't want to botch this too bad, but it looks like it's Gerangelo Sijente. Yeah. J-U-R-R-A-N-G-E-L-O 
C I J N T J E. Yeah. But explain it's why a, we're talking it's about it. It's a tough one to pronounce, but the reason we're talking about <laughs> Guillermo, I can't remember his name. But anyway, this guy's name. <laughs> this, this guy's a killer. Throws 96 from the right side and 92 from the left. That's a, that's kidding? amazing. It's dude, amazing. amazing. And Chinch, if dude, he's a freshman. Guys get, you know, they get, he's not even a man yet. He get, when he's a man at like 20, 21 years old, right? that could be 98 from the right, 95, 96 from the left. You got to be the first pick of the draft, right? Am I, or am I crazy? I would think you had to be, right? I and mean, now, if you're dominating. Yeah. Now, do you focus on being a reliever? You got, or do you, what do you do? How do you focus I mean, that I mean, skill set? Well, also too, here's the question for the major league baseball. Can you, with the three, batter rule hey dude your your skill right. set's different than are you allowed to like if you bring him in the game it, it to face three batters is he allowed to switch lefty righty i'm sure he is right yeah i gotta i guess what do i look up ambidextrous pitching rules because remember there was a guy that played for the a's yeah. for a little while and the yankees uh yeah i know yeah. The, i know he couldn't change mid at bat I know that was a rule. rule yeah, for ambidextrous. Yeah, admit it, bad, but maybe, but but I'm saying every, every hitter because right. he can throw both ways. Yeah. Now here's where it gets tricky. What if you're a switch hitter? That's why I think you can't. You got to make sure the <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm saying every hitter. Like I think you right right when you start, you have to declare have to de for that batter. Right now, but the, 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 the goes to your I'm saying the next batter could he go? It, it comes in, he's facing the lefty. Can he switch to left? That's a good question. And I would bet, obviously, because of the it, it, we're talking about the big leagues, but if you get to the big leagues, he has to have a glove that just switches right away because he doesn't have time to switch gloves. Yeah, that one guy had a glove that was like you flipped it inside out, he had it built, yeah, he had it built so he could just flip the actual glove inside out. Incredible. That's all fun. That's crazy stuff. So there was one other story I saw today that it made me think about you. Uh, what was this picture here? Let me go back to it. God damn it. I had it up, then we started talking about what else we were going to talk about. And, uh, da, da, da. Shit. There he oh, is. Dylan Carlson. Dylan Carlson says he came in. To, you hear this at least once every spring training. This guy came in and bulked up, and he gained 12 pounds all muscle. That's exactly what they said about this guy. That's what they say about somebody every year. I remember when uh, when Syndergaard came in, he, he gained 25 pounds of muscle that one year, and he hasn't really pitched since because he blew yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so so he, talk to dude, the team. Dude, Syndergaard tore his lap that, yes. that, after like, oh, he's 25 pounds of muscle. Then he tore his lap. Like, dude, you're a pitcher. I know. You don't want 25 pounds of, of muscle. A flat. You don't want a 25-pound lat. <laughs> Lat, you don't want that, dude. You don't no. want that. So uh, let's talk, like you know, you w when your kids were in high, like how'd you teach your kids how to train for baseball? Because I think there's a big difference, you know. Like, you know what? Yeah. I remember I played football, basketball, and baseball in high school, and every season was a different type of workout yeah. where good coaches because you're you're working different parts of your body out for success and for the long haul, especially when yeah. you're in a big league. So. Walk us through that. Like, how would you, how would you uh, give advice to dads and kids out there who who want to bulk up and be in baseball shape, but don't want to overdo it and become one of these other guys? Dude, I, I go with my my buddy John Dennis, who we're gonna have on the podcast here soon, who I do breakthrough pro with. Dude, this guy's the best in the world. I think how he trains guys. I watch my kids and other kids in the area that have gone on to play Division One athletics. Dude. He's a, so about um, flexibility, you know, making sure that you're mobile and in the, in the, especially in your core and your hips and power movements, power movements, like a lot of like deadlift movements, explosive jumping. How um, clean shrugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff. Just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the cleans, Olympic movements, you know, anything that's like, boom, those power movements. And dude, I, I think you get strong nowadays, especially with baseball from the inside out. You know what I mean? Instead of just like, like back when we were playing, dude, I was like 350 pound bench, you know? And I mean, these guys are still squatting and doing that stuff. You need to be strong, but dude, you need to be powerful. You need to be athletic. You need to be flexible and strong. I think it's like a lot like a lot like the bow and arrow. If you have a bow and arrow and 
that string's too tight. Yes. It comes back and it, you know, it doesn't have the same force. But if you have that bone arrow where that string's tight, it's strong. And then you give it the flexibility. Bam! That's the power that you want. I think when these guys are training nowadays, Chinch, bro, it's power movements. I just saw Manny Machado the other day. He was, uh, you know, he had stuff on his Instagram. But, dude, what was he doing? Cleans. Cleans, mm. you know, from the ground. Bam! Cleaning up. Uh, so, cleans, deadlifts, you know, all those kind of movements. You know, even like... Um, uh, you know, m my buddy JD does stuff with some chains and bands and, you know, like I said, the jumps, the uh, just so many different things. Like when I watch him train, I'm like, this this has to be because he's cutting edge. He's always above, you know, the, 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 the bar. I'm like, this has to be the way, you know, the, the elite trainers train kids. If you're with a trainer out there and he's still doing bench and, you know, just like the like getting bulk up movements. Yeah. Go oh, find like somebody else. Pull downs. All yeah, the time yeah, yeah. Triceps, uh, curls. I mean, who doesn't want some curls to look nice in the uni? I'm just saying that's mm -hmm. not going to help you with hitting a bullet in the gap or like Syndergaard freaking uh, blowing out your lat. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you don't want to blow out your lat. You got kidding me? And these and a lot of guys sometimes these oblique injuries and stuff, dude. You want to be flexible and powerful. Flexible Good. and powerful. I had a coach, uh, Coach Parente, shout out in high school, one of my football coaches, when we would used to be in a gym and we would be doing like, remember like Lucky Sevens, you do seven, oh, yeah, eight, yeah. Eight, whatever and all that? 21, He would always be like, hey, quit it with those beach exercises. We're not going to the beach. We're trying to win a football game. <laughs> he always is going beach exercises. <laughs> I love That's that. So good. That's Isn't so that good. good? What, the, what, what are we doing? What, what, what are we doing? We're going to the beach? We're going to the beach? We're playing St. Anthony's next weekend in the biggest game of your lives. And you're like, oh, shit, coach. Get me on it. Get me some more shrug. <laughs> no, but, shit, dude, you always did. I, I know your workout, bro. You always do those 21s. Every time I come in, oh, dude, you got I the tight in. shirts on, half shirts, and you just look freaking yoked. I'm like, just change doing his freaking uh, 21s again. I know. I'm not a big guy, so I got to be big somewhere. That's one spot. Right. The other right. thing, when I hear power clean trucks, dude, when I was training, when I was in college, Bella, I'm going to kick you in the teeth. When I was in college. <laughs> be, nice, uh, be nice to Bella, dude. No, that's true. So, <laughs> dude, 6 a.m. on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays in the winter, like our off-season training, right. and our uh, Coach McKinney, God damn it, Bella, Coach McKinney was our strength and conditioning coach, and he uh, used to make us do power cleans 6 at 6.05 a.m. in the middle of winter in the city. And I'd be doing power clean shrugs. I can never get them done in the morning. Could always do it. Uh, yeah, dude, you, that, that'll kill you. Dude, Trey Teichelman, Trey Teichelman, University of Richmond. I got to give a shout out to Trey Teichelman. Showed me what it was like to take your body to another level and your mind. You know, just it was the first time in my life I did, you know, my junior year. He came in from Texas Tech. I believe Texas A&M. He was an offensive lineman, dude. That's why Mark Megna was a killer, too. We do we 1994. We're doing cleans, cleaning snatches, cleaning presses, deadlifts. You know all these power movements, dude. It made me such a better player. But he was always big on, dude. Like you can push yourself more than you think. You know harder than you think. Yeah. And, you know we did a lot of like early morning workouts, all that stuff, and team workouts. And I always say, if you want to have a great team, do hard stuff together. If you want to get better in, in life, do hard <laughs> stuff because hard stuff makes your mind go to another yeah. level i just think it's incredible it also gets your day going when you get a good workout yeah. in the morning, forget about it totally does dude totally does totally does hold on i'm gonna send bella upstairs real quick all right, all right all right all right i'll give you the play-by-play -play on bella chinch was uh chinch was sitting there and bella just really bothering chinch obviously with the uh barking and looking like she might drop a bomb on the ground and just, you know, sending a message that he is really neglecting me right now. And if you don't get me upstairs to Jess, who's sleeping, and put me in Jess's bed, then I'm going to – we're going to have major problems. So, Chinch, this is the play-by-play -play of Chinch. He just took Bella, grabbed her by the collar, boom. They're up the stairs. They're doing their thing. Now Chinch is back and he's ready to go because Bella's where, where she needs to be. I just gave him play by play, Chinch. Let's give Macy, a, Bella. Give Macy now a Macy, now you're giving Macy a carrot. Wait, why is Macy back? Because she's quiet and calm. Bella just just calls her a scooch. It's a nice like Italian Jewish combo word. It's like Bella, <laughs> you goddamn scooch. Stop yelling about me. Whatever. 
I'll never, I'll never be mad at her because of the, the fact that she has this energy at 16 years old. So great. 16, she's 16. Wow. Dude. Yeah, dude, pretty cool. All right, dude, so, I got a question. I got a question. Yeah. Have you ever hurt yourself putting your pants, taking your pants off? Ever hurt yourself? I've hurt myself in a zipper, but I don't really want to get into that. That's okay, I've, I've done that too. I've done that okay. too. You're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> not good. Yeah. Um, what do you dude, look at this. I go to, I, I, I like to wear like the tight pants underneath, you know, like the jogger pants, yeah, long ones. So I go to take them off yesterday, bro. My finger, see my finger? Oh my god, it's that. Yeah, dude, bad. It, you mentioned it, this to dude, me. I can't lift. I can't lift it. I think I I tore this tendon right here. My finger is stuck like this, dude. You gotta go to a hand specialist. Like I'm, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to, and I don't want to, bro. Like I'm, I'm just thinking, like, am I gonna be? Can I just live without? Can I just live with my finger like this? Has any fan out there done this? And did they <laughs> did they get surgery or did they keep it? Because <laughs> obviously, I can't move my finger up, and I just don't know if I want to get surgery. That's you know what I'm saying. What yeah, would you, you do, chick? Well, I'll tell you. I have something like that forever. Look at this Dude. finger here. I can bend it oh. all the way back. Yeah, what happened? When I played basketball when I was a kid, I would, you know, you take a so, yeah, take so, a good chest pass. Uh, yeah, I yeah. used to, uh, I used to bend this so much, and then it broke. <laughs> uh, I intercepted a pass from uh, what's his name, Hasselback, not the older one, the younger Hasselback when I was a senior, and this just Tim, broke. Tim, Matt, Tim, Tim or Tim. Matt, whichever one the younger was, anyway. Uh, and it 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 snapped the rest of it off, and I have like no. 10 i have nothing there it's like oh. it's like i don't know it's why if i throw a baseball it moves i should have <laughs> <a> picture, <laughs> because think Please about do. it that's the last finger it goes off of my finger went back more when i would release a ball so my uh, my throw automatically had like a little tail on it think on it yeah yeah weird anyway right. but right. so dude what are you gonna do you gotta get that i shit. don't know i think i, I got th we have our miracle bash tonight bro by the way go to handvid.com or handvid app and in the the Stuff on there is incredible. Go get some of the great items, all the stuff we have, because tonight's the last night to do it. But I oh, got right. this. I figured after tonight, I would maybe take a look on Monday, maybe call a buddy of mine. Please do. I think it's you should get it. Dude. And, and it doesn't, it, 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 it doesn't no, really can, hurt. I can tell you can't do anything with it. It doesn't really hurt, but it hurts when I, you know, go grab something or something. Yeah, that's why you got to get it checked, man, because you start working <laughs> off of that. No, seriously, though, if you start working off your hand being different, you could screw up the other fingers on your hand by overcompensating for that goofy looking finger you got there. I got to do it, bro. I got to do it. Son of, son of, what an inconvenience. What an inconvenience. <laughs> you mentioned that. You mentioned that. And now that I see it, I'm like, holy cow, that's worse than I thought it was. Yeah. You definitely it's, tore it's, something yeah. in there or something. It, oh, there's no doubt. This is torn right here. There's no doubt about it. Oh, my gosh. Let's go. It's always Let's something, go. right? I, I know, dude. Why can't it just be like, perfect all the time you know? and then dude really quick this morning we we were taking a second to uh i don't know if any parents out here have this problem my daughter seventh grade daughter jillian she plays on the seventh grade basketball team she loses her jersey every week yeah that's not the first time you said i gotta find, I can't find dude, it's place. incredible and 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 then you don't want to shame them because I'm like, listen, like you got to be more accountable. We've set up a thing. I set up a bin. Whenever you take your jersey, it goes right in that bin. What's well, the only thing? It, it, like the 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 the, the jersey ghost comes and takes freaking jersey. Oh, it's the only thing we can't find every week. It's incredible. But I always feel like if you get enough pain in your life, enough struggle, enough disruption, uh, you'll start figuring it out eventually. That's funny, dude. You I lose my wallet. I lose my wallet all the time. So my mother-in-law got me this chip that you can put in your wallet and like track it, like, you know, how to find my yeah. phone. Thing. Yeah, yeah. I lost the chip before I could put it into the wallet. <laughs> That's up there. You went, you went, oh my God, it's so funny. Yeah, I think we're similar that way. I try though. I try really hard to organize myself, but I'm just, it's just hard every day. Yeah, you gotta be, be better, Chinch. I'm trying. All right. <laughs> well, let's be better today. Let's start today being better. I got to get yeah. running because this dog is driving me absolutely. All right. Mad. Do your thing, brother. Everyone out there, hope everyone has a great weekend. Like I said, if you want to bid on some great items that help the Miracle League of the South Hills, my charity, go to handbid.com or the handbid app, put in 2023 Miracle Bash. Let's go. And do it today, uh, right? Today's the last day. What? Today's the last day to vote. Today's to the last buy. day. Tonight. Yeah, tonight by 8 o'clock, it'll be done probably. 
And uh, Eddie, v Eddie Vedder sent us an unbelievable ukulele with the release lyrics so on cool. the back. It's going for 42 grand. So if you have any 42 wow. grand in your couch, put your chinch, send it our way, baby. You can get yourself a Eddie Vedder ukulele with the release. I think it's going to be me. <laughs> All right, buddy. Good luck tonight. Have fun. All right, brother, I love you, man. Have a great weekend, dude. You too.